What you doing? Uh, AG finished off a whole entire bottle of whiskey. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> no, we... People are going to think we're like yeah. fucking partying out here. No, just, uh, just today. Um. Anyways, we finished off this bottle of whiskey. So we're going to uh, put a message in a bottle. Because, uh... Why not? Because that's what you do when you're adrift at fucking two and a half knots. Yeah. <laughs> because there's no wind today. Because uh, the high pressure came down. And uh, as you can hear from the slatting sails, mm -hmm. we're not going very fast. No, we're only going, it says two and a half, three knots. We're about to probably bring it down in motor for a little while. Uh, the wind's supposed to come back tomorrow night. But as of now, we're... 460 miles from Hilo? Almost there. 460 long miles <laughs> from Hilo. And we're not even going direct there right now. We're on a we're on a broad reach right now because we're trying to get as much wind as we can get, but the swell just takes everything out of the sail. So we're cruising. Oh this is oh. Let me show this. This is where this is up till uh, the twelfth right here. So the 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, and ever since the 6th, ever since the 6th, we had the 3rd, the 4th, the 5th, we were freaking screaming. Hauling ass. Hauling ass. And then we just literally, quite literally, just slowed down every single day uh, that we've sailed since then. So that... Like that's there. slower that's even oh that day was all right the 9th to the 10th was all right focus. and then and then yesterday was just absolute just absolute garbage <clears throat> i think our longest run was the fourth to the fifth was that the night that we had the the 20 22 knot gust probably yeah. we had a reef in the main we had we had the jib reefed and we were screaming we're making like nines, nine and a halves yeah. on a beam reach in the rain. So we're gonna put a message in a bottle. All right. And we're gonna write our coordinates where we threw it in. Uh, we are north 22, uh, 33. We don't have too much more to go. West 47, 21. Nine two zero. Okay. You gotta do it like a pergaminho. I don't know what that is. Pergaminho in Portuguese is when you, in the old times, when you had the letters that would be written and then rolled up, and you had. Oh, you put a the blood, uh, a blood or the whatever. the wax. The you wax. put a wax. Yeah. And to seal it. Yeah. So, anyway. Yeah. I don't know if we have a name for that in English. Shall we throw it outside? Let's go. Come with me. <laughs> okay. É um, é dois, é três. Woo! There he goes. Oh shit, it's sunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we uh, we have a rip in the jib. The clue is torn out of the uh, the main, uh, and then our mast headlight has actually um, decided to detach itself from the mast. And then uh, we had the mast headlight detach and um, we would still turn it on at night and call it our disco ball because it was red, red, green, and uh, white and it would just dance around up there. It would make everything like a disco. But uh, we felt like it was better to be seen yeah. uh, than not seen. Until it finally fell in the water. Until it finally fell when we were dropping the jib. Yeah. When we were dropping the jib. That we were we dropped the jib in probably like 13, 14 knots. And that was right after we had gaffed your head. So I'm like, let's go grab it. 
the spirits were high, like you were thinking. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We had that. That was all. That was all a very. Was that the same day that we raised the spinnaker? Oh man, they're starting to blend. I don't know. We didn't. There's no way. There's no way we dropped the jib, gaff the hat, and raise the spinnaker all in one day. That yeah. sounds exhausting. I think it was uh, a different day. Yeah. Because I had just woken up and you said, let's go. Well, if we dropped the jib, it's because we had wind. And if we flew the spinnaker, it's because we didn't. So those probably aren't the same day. Yeah. yeah. We're sitting at a comfortable comfortable five knots of boat speed we have uh, we have one hand line out there's a hand line down there katamahi on the hand line um, and then we have one uh, squid out um, uh, right. it's been so much fun uh, just me and you yeah um, I thought it was gonna be harder with the, just the two of us and in the beginning it was and in the beginning it was. The but, beginning it was. But we are we're settled in into the passage life, and, yeah. and I think that uh, it would have been a shame if we didn't try this. Uh, you know, being fearful of doing it just the two of us. Oh, you're talking like we were gonna hire a, a captain yeah, and or, yeah. Or try to invite people and. Yeah, we thought thought about my cousins coming out. Oh, they're your, my nephews. Your nephews. My yes. nephews. And. And and it would be great to have people, but it would. It's also very nice. To yeah, to I be think. Just the two of us. I th whoop! There's the malolo. You see him going? Can you see him flying on the water? No. Oh, they just went. Just went behind you. There was like yeah. 15 of them. Um. I think a lot of it probably also depends on the fact that we've had this absolute gorgeous slow yeah. wind sailing for like five or six days. cooking under sail.
you? Nope. This is our hatch right here. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm making a video here. Got a little wind finally came back and brought some rain with it. So this is our kind of our our rainy trades that we have coming in. Uh, we're about 350 miles outside Hilo. Sailing under jib alone. Our resident booby has been hanging out there uh, since sunset yesterday. So he's coming up on 24 hours, hanging out with us. Um, yeah, sailing on a nice broad reach. Get the wind main. And uh, got a couple more nights. These last uh, five or six days is slow as they have been has been very pleasant um, but I feel like it's time for us to start getting some passage miles again so we can uh, get into Hilo. Thanks for watching. If you like this video hit the thumbs up and leave a comment. If you haven't already, subscribe. In the next video we have some solid fish in action and arrive in Hilo. Aloha.